What's up guys, welcome back to VBS Office. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use your Android phone as your webcam. So I'm just going to like demonstrate how it's like all works. So I'm just gonna run this software here. And I'm going to pull up this page, which is just connecting via IP address. So 192 here. And you can see I'm using my phone as the webcam. So what's cool is that you can also toggle the LED remotely and stuff like that. So, yeah. So, yeah, so I'm going to show you how I did this. So, first, you just want to go over to Droid Cam. Okay, so I just found the website. So, first, here you have to set it up. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go over to the terminal. You want to go and install um, GCC Make. So I'm just going to install that. Make sure there's a space between the two because this is actually two programs. But I'm just going to put my password in. Yeah, I already installed it. Okay. And um, it goes here. I would not recommend going CD temp, just because that means every time you shut it down, you have to reinstall the whole thing. So I would just go to like a random directory on your thing, and then just run these the next command. So you can w get their zip, and then you can unzip, and then sudo dot install is actually not going to work. So I'm just going to open up the folder where I installed it. But sudo.install um, is not going to work because they don't actually have an install thing now. You'll probably get something like droidcam, droidcam, cli, install client, install dkms. But I'm just going to run them at a time. So first, you want to go um, um, install client. That's probably the most important one. You want to go install client. Now you want to go install DKMS. Like that. Now you want to, I'm just going to go back here. And now you just want to go install video. The sound never worked for me. So, but yeah, you just go. Um, whatever because i already loaded the thing it probably wouldn't say that to you because i already installed it but um and then yeah so that's probably it now you can open up droid cam by going dot slash droid cam and now you should get this thing so i recommend using wi-fi you could use usb but i only use wi-fi so now this is where it gets fun now we just have to install the app on our phone, so I'm going to cut to that. Okay, so now that we have the display on our phone, we can head over to Google Play. And you want to install DroidCam. So just search for DroidCam. And you can install this. I already installed this. I'm just going to open it. And then you should get the Wi-Fi IP and the DroidCam port. So, I'm just going to pull up, um, actually, no, I'm not. So, you can, so, on your computer, go back to the DroidCam window and type in the IP, Wi-Fi IP, or the IP address, or the phone IP, or whatever. Just make sure you selected Wi-Fi, and then enter in the Wi-Fi IP over here. So, I cannot show you this. It will be blurred out, but... Yes, yeah, so you just enter it and then the port. So um, this one is 4747. So you can just enter that to the to the um, 
to the software and you should get this so now you have this window here it's actually just set it to your thing your video now so i'm gonna go over to google meet and let's see here yep you can see my camera is now my phone and yeah so that's it for the video i hope you enjoyed this um um i hope this helped you please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye